Okay, question six. Read the extract below and answer the questions that follow. Question six is the third essay. You've got three and you must pick two. Finding work meaningful is something that every worker should experience. However, some people may not find meaning in their work, hence they are most likely to act rather unethically in the workplace. Write paragraphs on the value of work and work ethics, well, how work gives meaning to life. That's a stunning video that I have up on the channel. So remember, this is an essay. It must follow the whole IBC, introduction, body, conclusion, introduction, introduce these three elements, conclusion, tie them together. And we've got three bodies because we've got three bullet points. Let's get into it. Yeah, I don't like to waste time on this channel. So bullet point one, state four ways in which work could give you a sense of purpose in life. Well, each day of your life may be filled with daily goals to accomplish. You keep going, you keep moving. You have a specific role to play at your work or place. And if you don't play that role, things start to fall apart. So your role, your Buddhavos role, I'm joking. You may learn new skills and experience different things every day. So you have these more unique experiences and this enhances your quality of life. You're living life, you're doing different things. And you may experience just a sense of companionship, camaraderie, because you're part of a team. You fit in with your peers and your colleagues. And also a sense of accomplishment too. But yeah, just the idea of camaraderie. It's a nice word to know how to spell. Okay, remember these two bullet points here. Still four points. These ones are more like four punchy quick points. These ones, same punchy four points and some substantiation there. It's eight marks. So you need to give like proper, proper answers, maybe. So one, two, three, four. Okay, analyze why it's necessary for all workers to follow the required ethical behavior in the workplace. Well, we want them to do their work with the utmost diligence. That's of paramount important. They would strive to continually perform at their level the best they possibly can, which may greatly improve the overall productivity at the workplace. And we always want the commitment to just function, oh, sorry, effectively, efficiently. And it may lessen any possible frustration among co-workers, and it may create a sense of a joined workforce, playing again on this idea of camaraderie. And we want everyone to take pride in their work as well. They would do their work with the necessary enthusiasm and care, thereby ensuring outstanding service delivery at all times. And also honoring the responsibilities that have been assigned to them. Then each one would also accept accountability for their own failures, successes, which may prevent any possibility of hostility among workers. And there's some other ones like aiming to be professional all the time, maintaining a good you know, uh, code of ethics, treating, treating each other with respect under all circumstances, and showing just general integrity in their work. Okay, uh, bullet number three. I'm going to do this in blue, top right. Uh, let's go bottom right, actually. There's just a bit more space here. Critically discuss the importance of understanding your core values to ensure that you find meaning in your work. So explore your core values first. It's an important step towards setting realistic career goals. What do you want from your career? Where do you see yourself ultimately? What's your short-term, medium-term, long-term plan? Okay, so explore them first. See where you want to be, what your goal is, and ultimately how close we get to our goals, it pushes us to achieve that level of work contentedness. Identifying your core values is also crucial in making important life decisions. So once you've explored them, like you know what's what, what you want to do, identify what's key for you and absolutely work on them. Every single day, it's of utmost importance. It's crucial in making important life decisions as it may enable you to prioritize these values. Now, also defining your core values, okay? What do these core values mean? So you've explored them, you've identified them, and now give a definition to it so that we can actively work toward that definition every day, especially when pursuing a job opportunity, since this may help you to determine whether your own values are in line with the work values, and if not, whether you'd be able to adapt otherwise. Now, it's important to remember this one, the fourth one, just to close things off. Your core values could be the compass that leads you to a suitable career. Because ultimately, we want to be content at work. We want to be happy what we're doing. We don't need to love it. It's great if you love it. That's a plus. But ultimately, we don't want to dread our jobs. And this could be the compass to lead you toward a suitable career. So it's absolutely vital that you always revisit these values to make sure that you don't lose sight of what really matters in your life, what's absolutely key. And this may help you to determine what career moves you, whether you should keep this job, whether you should leave it and find something else. So yeah. Nice little essay here, went relatively quickly. 
Um, that's the basics. It's always like this. It always goes 488. This is quick, this is punchy, and give more give us more meat on the bone here for these 20 marks. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.